Hey everyone, Matt Hatter here, and welcome to another one of my guides. If you enjoy these, please subscribe and join my community Discord. It helps out the channel a lot and continues to motivate me to make more. So, first off, we're covering merches today. So, you unlock merches, I believe, around world 6 to 7 at least. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on it, please. And yeah, you essentially start off with world exploration, where you can do all these stages and acquire these materials. At first, they're confusing because you don't know what any of the blueprints do. And I recommend checking out either the wiki, asking out on Discord, or just following this guide to figure out what blueprints to farm as a new player. So these three, the chips, the wood, and the dye are what you use to craft your blue craft using the blueprints you first start out with this stage and you're just going to complete all of them as there are you know treasure chest rewards that you definitely want to claim and there's two main things you want to farm as a new player in my opinion i think a couple people might tell you otherwise but the most important thing is obviously going to be your thin blueprints as your thin blueprints essentially allow you to go for sample statues of bravery sample statues of bravery are easily the best uh merch in the game they're super super good in pretty much anything uh until you get to end game where you'll want to start you know utilizing other excess other merches i mean i'm sorry for calling them accessories they're merches you're going to be using elementals and trying to progress to sample statues of bravery as you're doing this i actually am gonna make something that I think some people might not agree with, and that is going to be to farm protruding blueprints once you have, once you're done with thin blueprints. And the reason is, is because you can level them up much faster. Okay, leveling merches is such a painful procedure. They give so many additional stats, and some people will tell you, just level them as you go using, you know, the trash material, trash extra merches that you get. I think that's too slow. As, you know, a new player, all you need are sample statues of bravery unless you want to go hardcore pvp then you're going to need a pretty decent variety of merchers which is once again going to be a purely end game thing and regardless of what content you do regardless of what content you do you're going to benefit from having sample statues of bravery whether it be raid or pvp of course they're not as strong in pvp as they are in raid and for end game raids you're obviously also going to want to have invader motherships but ignore all that okay go for sample statues of bravery farm this first stage and only do it only farm it if if there's this bonus going on if there's a reward boost you're going to be getting essentially double the blueprints and you're going to only want to actively farm it then okay now let's get back to merch forge what you can come here and do is just craft you can drop merches in here and they'll have random crafting timers um protruding merchers have different crafting timers than all other merchers where they're ge they'll generally be around 10 to 13 maybe 14 minutes all other merchers have a random time ranging anywhere from i believe seven minutes to six hours don't quote me on that please i don't know the exact numbers but that it's somewhere within that range and you can exchange your blueprints to blanks but I don't recommend doing it as blanks have the same rate for all unique merches, which isn't bad. But as a new player, once again, focus on one unique merch. It's going to get you the best value. Okay. But the best value, I think, for a new player is going to be actually your elemental merches. And what do I mean, elemental merches, right? As you're going to be crafting merches, you're going to be getting some blue merches, two stars. And they're the same ones are available in every single merch blueprint. And these are your rare merches. Now they all have different effects varying from boosting a specific elements attack to having miscellaneous effects. For example, Cecile's hit medley music box has 2% HP recovery on enemy kill, which generally is going to be trash. Eugene bike Mer figure is one of those elemental merches that I'm actually talking about here. And it provides 8% light attack at two stars until you haven't evolved it yet and its stats increase as you level it up but the more important part is the additional uh attribute attack it provides iron Titan statue once again it's just miscellaneous don't worry about it you're going to be want to focus on the elementals and one other specific thing eugene bike figure is light elemental idol eva stick is basic el basic element marital cushion is skill damage you're gonna want all of these sealed goddess snow globe is fire marina shark keychain is water aobus eye mask is earth and use a photo card is dark you're gonna want all of these and as many copies as you can get four starred is gonna be good 
okay? To max one out, you need one copy and then three additional ones to get it to four star for its maximum effect. If you're not sure how the multipliers work when evolving them, you can go to your book. If it will load heroes, not heroes, I mean, sorry, items, and you should be able to find merchers right here. Here you can check out, for example, let's say I want to know what smiley face cushion does without having to leave the game. I can just come here and click it and see that a five star smiley cushion gives me a 15% shield increase on battle start. And you can check these out for all the elementals, 20% dark attack. That's why I'm saying all the elementals are super valuable as a new player. They'll give you 20% elemental attack for whatever element that you're using. Mariel cushion will give you 35% skill damage, which is also really, really nice. However, Mariel cushion is only for leads while the elementals are for pretty much everyone else for uniques once again i'm going to highlight a couple for new players sample statue of bravery is your best friend you can you know transition into for example invader mothership replica um not agma model oh, i'm sorry i'm sorry where's the where's uh little princess figure that's fine however they're not that good compared to sample statue of bravery sample statue of bravery in my opinion is just by far the best that's going to be it for basic stuff around that how does leveling actually work for merch as well? We can go here and go up to any merch. Let's go to this one. We hit enhance and we come here and we can level this using spare merches that we have. So I'd be able to pump all of these to get this to level 30. However, I'm not going to as I don't care for leveling this to 30 at the moment. I don't recommend you use rares to level anything up at the start. It's going to be a major waste. You're not going to have the merch collection bonus, which you'll eventually get regardless. However, you want as many max rares as you possibly can get. And that's going to be it. It's really short guide. You can also get super costumes from here, right? But I don't think that's what you're here for. If you're in a merch guide, super costumes are just really nifty accessories that look really, really good. They're really awesome skins. They do have a collection bonus, but... As a new player, mid-game player, that's not really your worry. It's just something you'll get with time. You can't really speed it up. It's a pure RNG process. So, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully it helps. And, yeah, subscribe, like, comment, and join my community Discord. I'll see you all later.